SpaceX's Starship has successfully launched from Brownsville, Texas and ended its trajectory with a bang. The most powerful rocket ever built by SpaceX lifted off from Starbase as thousands of supporters watched in anticipation. But what happened next took everyone by surprise. Minutes after its planned hot stage separation, the super heavy booster exploded while Starship continued into space, eventually losing signal with the SpaceX team and triggering its self-destruct procedure. Although the launch didn't meet all of its objectives, Starship did make it much further than any previous attempt has, and it successfully executed on many areas. The Starship's 33 Raptor engines thrust the rocket into the atmosphere, trailing behind a beautiful purple hue from the methalox burning. Just one minute into its launch, Starship reached max Q, the moment when a rocket experiences the most physical stress it will feel during the entire launch. This is a big moment, as it means from this point forward, the mechanical pressure on the rocket will be less than the max Q point, and everyone can let out a sigh of relief. But when you're working with rockets, the smallest error can lead to huge complications. Three minutes into launch, Starship began executing its first ever attempt at hot staging. This new method and significant change from the previous rocket means Starship's upper stage engines will ignite while the booster is still attached and some of the booster engines are still firing. A shield is situated at the top of the booster to protect it and a cylindrical segment with vents has been added between the stages. These vents allow the hot gases from the upper stage engines to flow out into space. The upper stage separated from the booster while continuing its flight for a number of minutes, signaling that any earlier problems may have been addressed. However, not long after separation, the super heavy booster exploded across the sky in a dramatic display to those watching along. Despite that blast, the upper Starship stage, which is to carry astronauts, satellites, and other cargo in the future, continued to travel. According to an indicator from SpaceX's live blog, the vehicle reached an altitude of about 90 miles, putting it in space. Mission Control continued to state that Starship's trajectory was nominal and its final objective was to land in the Pacific Ocean north of Hawaii. But in a sudden turn of events, about 12 minutes after liftoff, SpaceX announced they had lost contact with the second stage rocket. Starship was forced to execute an automated detonation and the rocket self-destructed in midair. If you've kept up to date with SpaceX, you'll know that Starship's first test flight ended after a few minutes when failing engines caused the rocket to tumble out of control at a high altitude. But these kind of setbacks do not phase SpaceX as the company operates on the motto, fail fast, learn faster. While the test flight did not achieve all of SpaceX's objectives, it did overcome some of the problems that affected its earlier launch. This incremental method of improvement means engineers can take what they've learned from this launch and make the necessary adjustments for future Starship missions.